Hi, my name is Dania Delone, and this is my husband, Darren Delone. Hello. This is Baby Zeus. We are a family of seven. Baby Zeus was born six weeks early, and he is our first preemie and our first NICU experience. So it started off as a normal day. We went to our 34-week um, OB appointment um, to then kind of find out that my blood pressure was probably not going to allow me to carry Zeus full term. All that was going through my head is protect, 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 and wondering how my wife was. Was she okay? There's nothing that can prepare you for this type of situation. It's a type of uh, situation that you just have to go roll with the punches, go with the flow type of thing and pray that everything will be okay and that the nurses and the doctors <laughs> you know, 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 know what they're, they're doing and do what they're supposed to do and yeah. communicate. Communication is a big, big uh, key. You never know what to expect being a NICU parent. You don't know what emotions you're gonna feel. It is a roller coaster, ups and downs, and I guess just letting them know that throughout all of that, we're here for them and we are here to support them and we are like family second family that knew how to medically sustain your baby's life and ultimately your goal is to get your baby out of there and that is exactly what they'll help you do. The entire time that we were at the NICU or in the NICU I played the lullabies. I mean 24-7 it was non-stop. It was just something that I had going in the background. I think with everything that was going on and this being our fifth child and it being the first time that we were not with the rest of our children um, were able to really have family come in and embrace us and welcome this new baby I was overwhelmed so I know that for me it was very soothing but it's just kind of a staple in our family music music can do so many things um, but the effect that it has on an unborn child or just a newborn child um, does a big, big change for, for them. Um, they're, they pay attention more, they're able to move, uh, groove, and then later on in life, they'll like different genres of music. For about the first week, he had a feeding tube that went down his nose. He dealt with jaundice issues, so we had phototherapy. And just in those moments, you could tell he did not like any of it. If the music was going, he did stay a lot more calm. If I stepped out and the music wasn't going, um, he was definitely frantic. When I was able to return and put the music back on, he was totally calm and you could just kind of hear that second breath that he took where he was just like, thank you. Okay, this feels normal again. It kind of helped the nurses as well to be calm in the situation that they were in um, with coming into the room and dealing with our heightened emotions um, and just making it a calm, peaceful place that everybody could actually actually uh, communicate and uh, be aware of everything that was going on. We had kind of already started to learn some of the stories about the other children. Some of these babies' parents aren't able to be there um, due to COVID. Right. They have jobs, they have other little children, right. and you can't bring siblings in. You can have, you know, mom and dad is it, um, or your one care person. I had to think of a way that they could feel some of that support from their parents. And the Bluetooth speaker actually can record uh, the parent's voice and it plays music at the most calming level and anything to support um, any child. Uh, and that's what I thought. Definitely. Help. Yeah, definitely. So recently we were able to drop off uh, 22 speakers, which provided one Bluetooth speaker for each room in the NICU to Bryan Hospital. There was no way that we could express our gratitude the way that we wanted to. So we thought that donating uh, speakers and nothing but cakes 
I think the Bluetooth speakers will be a great addition for family members to record themselves and do those like readings or singing a song or just soft talk. That way the infant can hear them and create that bond even maybe when they're not here, they're out running errands, we can play that for them. Knowing that there is going to be some sort of continual stimulation in that room and love, um, I think it's just is the best feeling ever because these babies aren't alone, even if they were alone. They didn't feel that way. Yeah. It'll be benefiting so many more families that she's done that, and I hope she realizes the impact she's truly made on us as well as what we did on her.